What's up guys, my name is Kelvin Wiley and welcome to my YouTube channel. So right now, this video is completely impromptu. I was not prepared to record a YouTube video right now, but I am currently camping, I'm, I'm on a camping trip and our campsite is right near a stream. Uh, I recently caught a crayfish that was in the water. There's some small species of fish and other living organisms, but I came across this beauty right here. This right here is a female Dolomites vivitatis, commonly referred to as the banded fishing spider. Now, believe it or not, this is my first time ever seeing this species, even though I know it's fairly common. I typically find Dolomites triton, which is the six-spotted fishing spider, and also Dolomites tenebrosus, which is the dark fishing spider. Wait, oh, no, no, Harper, no, 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 I'm making a video. This is my, my uh, dog right here, my female uh, pit bull husky mix, Harper. <laughs> uh, but yeah, look at this beauty. So I'm gonna try to handle her really quick so that you guys can get a better view of this beautiful arachnid. Oh my gosh, look at her. Wow, oh, no, 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 come here. <laughs> so, oh wow, she just keeps jumping off. So well, let me try to get her settled and then I'll talk about her. As you can see, I'm equipped with my headlamp to help me find things at night. But if you're not familiar with fishing spiders, fishing spiders are semi-aquatic, meaning that they live both on land and on water. They're called fishing spiders for the sole reason that many of them are able to catch and feed on fish. Now, this is greatly dependent on the species. Many species of fishing spiders vary in size, and so many of the larger species of fishing spiders, such as this one, is capable of catching and feeding on small minnows that reside in the water. Now, the way that they do this is they don't make webs like many other spiders do to catch their prey. What fishing spiders will do is they'll reside on the surface of the water, and they're incredibly buoyant. It's not like they're able to sink. And so with their legs spread out, they're able to detect vibrations in the water. And so let's say a small minnow is nearby. The fishing spider will be able to detect that and will actually push themselves in the direction of that fish. And then they will go and snag it and inject venom and ultimately feed on it. Not only are the larger species of fishing spiders capable of feeding on fish, many of them are also able to catch small tadpoles and also small species of frogs as well. But as a whole, fishing spiders predominantly feed on insects. Now, fishing spiders are equipped with specialized sensory hairs, which are hydrophobic, meaning that the hair is actually able to repel water off of their bodies. So what's super cool about the fishing spider is that it has the ability to go underwater and with the hydrophobic hairs that cover its body, the hydrophobic hairs actually repel water off from the fishing spider while it's underwater, thus creating a layer of air that covers its entire body. Now with this air bubble that covers its entire body, the fishing spider is actually able to breathe underwater to find and catch its prey, which is absolutely incredible. So really quickly, I just wanted to share with you guys my brand new line of stickers that I have available for sale on my website. All of these are various animals that I drew on paper by hand, colored them in, and then converted them into high quality, long lasting, waterproof stickers. Just to give you a quick idea of what they look like up close, here's one of my favorite drawings that I drew of a European hornet. All of these drawings were achieved by using these markers to color them in. If you're interested in purchasing any of these stickers, you can head on over to my website, calvinwiley.net, or you can hit the link in my description, which will send you directly to my website for you to purchase them. Thank you so much to all of those in advance who end up getting one for supporting my small business. And now, back to the video. Now, you may be wondering about the venom of fishing spiders. 
Fishing spiders as a whole, they have relatively weak and mild venom. These spiders are not to be feared whatsoever. Their venom is not capable of causing any sort of problems. I mean, if you consider, you know, slight stinging and numbing pain for maybe a day or two, that's about it. I mean, they're incredibly mild and not only that, but they're super docile. I mean, I've been holding the spider the whole time and you know it hasn't shown any signs of wanting to bite me it's not threatened whatsoever the most it's going to try to do is run away and escape from me <laughs> all right so check this out really quickly the very next morning i found an adult male dolomites vivitatis the banded fishing spider and so the video that you were currently watching was of the night before this is the next day and I found an adult male. He was actually under a rock and I'll share with you the video of me finding him. I just flipped over a rock and there he was just chilling underneath of it. So that is super cool, uh, an adult female and an adult male all under 24 hours. So you can tell that he is an adult male due to those two front appendages, those large bulbous and somewhat pointy pedipalps, as you can see, very clubbed shaped pedipalps. Those are the male's sexual reproductive organs in which he'll use to inseminate the female with. So here's a closer view of those pedipalps. Oh, hi. Hi, Caleb. <laughs> oh, hi. So last night you saw Harper. Uh, Harper was... Oh, no, no, no. Wait. Uh, oh, he knocked it out of my hand. Hold on. Uh, hold on. Come here. All right, there we go. Here's a better view of his pedipalps. But yeah, super, super cool find. Oh man, I am loving this trip so far here in Maryland. Look at you. <laughs> But like I said earlier, this is the first time I've ever found a Dolomites vivitatis, the banded fishing spider. So if you guys enjoyed the video, if you could please leave a like and a comment, subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell icon to turn on post notifications. That way you're alerted every time that I post a new video. Follow me on Instagram at Kelvin Wiley and also on TikTok at Kelvin underscore Wiley. Check out my website, kelvinwiley.net. And I will see you guys in the next video.